Hey guys, it's Chris. From the proud lionfish to the absolutely bizarre knife-nosed chimera, plus some other weird fish you've probably never heard of, here are 10 of the most unique fish in the ocean. Number 10, California Sheephead. One of the most unique fish in the ocean is definitely the California sheephead. This is one weird creature. It can be easily distinguished by the black markings on its head and tail, and the large pink stripe in the middle of its body. These fish are actually considered vulnerable for extinction according to the IUCN. The species is native to the Pacific Ocean, and California sheephead fish live mostly in the Gulf of California. They spend time hanging out in kelp forests and living primarily in polygamous type arrangements. This means a single dominant male will travel with a pack of many females. This is similar behavior to the elephant seals and Jamaican fruit bats. Basically, the strongest, fastest, and largest male sheephead fish gets all the ladies. Perhaps the most interesting thing about the California sheephead is that it's a protogynous species. It means that every fish is born a female. Then what happens is the largest of the fish will swap from female to male because of hormonal changes triggered, not by biology or something else in their genetic composition, but by social cues. That's right, the largest of the fish actually shift their internal biology based on relative size. And that's not something you see every day. Number 9. Knife Nose Chimera The Knife Nose Chimera is a mystery fish even stranger than it looks. The fish was first discovered by a fishing boat in the Arctic Ocean back in 2013, and at first nobody really knew what it was. However, an expert from the University of Windsor eventually figured out that this fish belongs to a family of long-nosed chimera that have been living in the deep oceans for over 350 million years. This is a very old fish, and one of the only ones that has ever come to the surface. These are fish that live at depths of almost 7,000 feet, and so they're not exactly being scooped up in a lot of nets. And while the knife nose does look a lot like a goblin shark, it's a totally different animal. They grow to be around 5 feet long and look more like monsters than fish. If you're wondering what it uses its ridiculously long nose for, apparently it's loaded with sensory nerve endings that it uses to find food, kind of like a long radar antenna sticking out of its face. Even though not many of these fish have ever been captured, researchers do believe there could be a significant number of them living too deep for us to find, kind of like the elusive giant squid. Number 8. Lionfish Lionfish are one of the most popular exotic fish in home aquariums. This is because they're one of the most unique fish in the ocean. The name lionfish makes a lot of sense considering it looks like this fish has a mane, kind of like a lion. The lionfish is actually an invasive species in the Caribbean waters and in the U.S. Southeast. It's a top predator that competes for food a little better than the local fish do. Scientists are actually afraid that lionfish are going to kill off a whole bunch of native species, which will eventually cause a seaweed problem in the United States. According to the Ocean Service, the lionfish population is growing at an alarming rate. This is because lionfish have no predators in U.S. water, so they're expanding exponentially. They produce young all year long, and a single female can lay around 2 million eggs a year. It's amazing that such small fish are causing such a big problem. They only grow to be around 18 inches, with lots of weird fleshy tentacles growing out from their eyes and from below their mouths. It's probably too late to control their wild population now, but at least they do look great in your home aquarium. Do you keep a home aquarium? What kind of fish do you have? How big are they? Let me know if you have a particularly impressive fish tank by posting about it in the comments below. Then be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more entertaining and informative videos right when they're published. Number 7. Scorpion Fish Oddly enough, the scorpion fish doesn't really look anything like a scorpion. These animals are masters of disguise. They live in the reefs of the Indo-Pacific region, only growing to be around 20 inches in length. But they have incredible colors and markings on them that are super unique and give them the ability to blend in nicely with the surrounding coral. Some species of scorpion fish can even change their colors just like an octopus, allowing them to blend in with reef flora. Most scorpion fish don't do much during the day, but at night they hunt smaller fish and crustaceans, which they sometimes sting with their venom. This is where they get the name scorpion fish from. They lay in ambush and wait for some food to come by, then open their enormous mouth and suck in their prey like a vacuum. 
Scorpion fish also have super venomous spines used to fend off predators. If you were to actually touch one, the venom from the fish's spine could get into your bloodstream and cause illness or even death. This is one of the reasons you never want to touch fish or indeed anything else when snorkeling in a reef. Imagine laying your hand on a rock, but really, it's a camouflage scorpion fish. You'd be in some serious trouble. Number 6. Fish with Perfect Lips It's always a little strange when a fish has features like a human. Let's talk a little about the giant purple Placidochromis phenochilis ndoka fish. This fish is so obscure that it doesn't even have a proper English name yet. It still has its ridiculously long and complicated scientific name. But one thing this fish does have is a set of strangely human lips. It looks like the fish has been practicing its kissing skills on all its fishy friends. It actually looks like this fish had some kind of messed up lip surgery. Imagine bumping into this thing in the ocean. You couldn't help but give it a great big smooch. According to an article from The Sun, the fish actually uses its luscious lips for fighting and for picking up objects in the ocean. Why would a fish grow hands when it can just grow some lips? These kinds of fish originated in Lake Malawi and can grow to be around 10 inches long. Lake Malawi is located in Tanzania in Africa, and it's home to somewhere around a thousand different fish species, and many of them are super unique to that lake. So I guess this isn't one of the most unique fish in the ocean, but come on, look at this thing's lips. How is everyone not talking about this fish? Number 5. The Psychedelic Frogfish the psychedelic frogfish is freaky looking. This thing lives along the coasts of Indonesia and is one of the grooviest fish you've ever seen. It has weird swirls of orange and white all over its skin, kind of looking like fingerprint patterns. Just like fingerprints, each pattern is unique to each individual fish. The psychedelic frogfish uses its weird color scheme to avoid predators, but for some reason its eyes glow almost neon. And this fish is not only unique because it looks bizarre, it's also because it doesn't even swim. The psychedelic frogfish uses its pectoral fins to just kind of fumble across the sea floor. It's like someone cut off its legs and it's just kind of wriggling over the surface at the bottom of the ocean. So how does it hunt, you wonder? Well, the frogfish will hide in a small crevice in some coral and just wait there until a small shrimp or fish passes by. Then it opens its massive mouth and swallows them whole. It's really pretty vicious and ferocious when it needs to be, even looking as goofy as it does. Number 4. The Blobfish Everyone's favorite unique sea creature is probably the blobfish. The blobfish has been labeled the ugliest fish in all of the world several times over. The specimen was first discovered off the coast of New Zealand back in 2003, and since then it has gotten more attention than probably any other fish in the world. According to Smithsonian Magazine, the blobfish doesn't actually look as disgusting as the photos make it appear. The problem is that after this particular blobfish was taken out of the water, it spent something like 10 years suspended in ethyl alcohol solution. And if you spent 10 years suspended in alcohol, you'd probably look like a giant blob too. Just take a look at men with their big beer bellies. That's what too much liquor does for you. Blobfish actually belong to the fathead sculpin family. They're found at depths of anywhere between 330 and 9,000 feet beneath the waves. Unlike most fish, blobfish don't even have a swim bladder to help them maintain buoyancy. The blobfish has a body less dense than water, which allows it to drift along the seabed as if flying. It's basically like if you had a body that weighed less than air, you'd be able to float around instead of walking. But hopefully you wouldn't blow up and turn into a disturbing looking blob in the process. Number 3. Oranda Goldfish Goldfish are a little more complicated than a lot of people think. The story of the Oranda Goldfish is even more complicated. Let's get the appearance of this weird fish out of the way first. It looks like it has an extra brain growing out of its forehead. There's no mistaking the weird orange blob at the top of its head for anything other than a giant tumor growing straight out of its brain. It's definitely a very unique fish, but what makes the Oranda goldfish and its extra brain even stranger is that nobody really knows where these fish came from. You might not know this, but fish can actually be bred much like dogs, and this is especially true for aquarium fish. Most people believe the Oranda goldfish originated in China somewhere, as there are some mentions of this little guy going all the way back to the 15th century. But its origins are absolutely unknown. The only thing people can agree on is that the Oranda goldfish is definitely the product of crossbreeding. But where did it get that extra brain? That's what I want to know. Number 2. Yellow Boxfish 
The yellow boxfish is unique for one reason, and I bet you can figure it out on your own. That's right, this fish is shaped like a box. Not only is it shaped like a box, it's shaped like a piece of toffee candy in a yellow wrapper. Never has there been such a remarkably uniform fish, the yellow and black polka dotted jacket. If I had an aquarium in my house, I would want nothing but yellow boxfish. These things are super cool. They can grow to be around 17 or 18 inches, and they live in the shallow waters, mostly in the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. You can find these fish hanging out in reefs, and their main source of food is the algae on the sides of rocks. They also sometimes eat sponges and worms. According to diving experts, the bright yellow skin of the boxfish is designed so that it can survive better in the wild. Predators see their bright yellow jacket and assume they're super poisonous. However, they aren't actually poisonous. It's just a trick to make predators go away. What's really unique is that the yellow boxfish is only very bright when it's juvenile. When they grow to be adults, you can see that they get less box-like, and their bright yellow turns into a dull mustard color, and their black polka dots turn into blue polka dots. Fish truly are strange. Number 1. Coffin fish. With a name like coffin fish, you know you're not dealing with the most attractive sea creature ever made. Not only is the coffin fish exceptionally ugly, but it's unique in other ways too. Most fish breathe underwater by sucking in big gulps of water, which then oxygenate blood vessels inside the animal's gill chambers. After a fish has gotten enough oxygen, it exhales the oxygen depleted water out of its gills. This is basically how fish breathe, but the coffin fish is unique in that it holds its breath for way longer than a typical fish. It holds the water inside of its body for up to around 4 minutes. This may seem completely useless, but the coffin fish is so lazy that this evolutionary adaption allows it to conserve energy by not breathing as much as other fish. Imagine if you could hold your breath for almost 5 minutes to save yourself the hassle of expanding your lungs. The coffin fish does nothing except sit at the bottom of the ocean, holding its breath and waiting for food to swim by. Which fish do you think is the most unique? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to World List, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon for another informative video. Hypothetically, if you had a huge aquarium and could have one of the fish on our list, which one would you choose and why?